What's going on? What's going on? Got lit in my hand, shit. Mm. But anyway, what's going on, man? Just came to holler at y'all. Let y'all know about the G. What's going on with me? I ain't no way, uh, post nothing in a minute. So, so far, uh, uh, everything's been fine, man. As far as, uh, the car running, the mechanical issues, like, I have, I have not, no mechanical issues, nothing to that already that I didn't already know. Like, I got an exhaust leak in here, and I just took it to the mechanic today because I, I kept hearing a, a, a clunking noise. And I, I kind of figured that's what it was. It's the ball bearings. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? So I just bought some off of eBay for 70 bucks for a pair for a G, for 2009 G37 Coupe. It was only four left when I bought it, so I bought I bought that uh, off of eBay and um, get that fixed. So I got I'm I'm chilling, man. This car is good, man. It's been holding up. I don't have no problems. Like I got 154,000 miles. I don't even think I need a gallon gasket. Like I don't even I don't get nothing bad for coming from this car, man. No leaks, nothing. So <clears throat> to make a long story short. Uh, when I bought the car, I did get beat. I got got. I got got y'all. Go ahead and get your laughs in. Ha ha. They did. They got it. Somebody got me. But you know, I don't. Whenever I get got, I don't. I don't um, take it as a total L. I'm better than that. I'm better than an L. Get me. You can never be. I can never be beat. God told me that. I can never. Even when I'm losing, I'm winning. So, at first I was kind of upset, but let me give you a let me give you a little rundown on the situation. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened to me first. Uh, when I bought the car, the guy, the, I got a, the the car has a salvage title. Title didn't know that at first because he when he when, I, when he sold it to me, he had a blue title, a clean title. So I guess the car must have been in a car accident and he never got it re-registered. He still had the old title from when he got the car when he bought the car. So uh, and he that's what he sold me that's what he sold me was with the regular title and then when I registered the car it's, they sent me a salvage title in the mail. So that being said, um, I didn't pay that much for the car, so I'm not really tripping. And the car's a 2009, so I can't get full coverage on it anyway. So the car's running. I don't even think nothing's really wrong with this car. I think they might have done an insurance scheme or something, man, because there's really no physical damage to the car. And on the on the on the Carfax, oh that's what they get a Carfax report if you're buying a used vehicle. That's what I that's what I didn't do. The last three cars I bought, like last four cars, I ain't gonna count the silver one because I already knew I was messed up. But the white Altima, the Durango, and this car all had problems that I could have avoided if I would have looked at Carfax. All of them. The, the Carfax gonna tell you the true identity of that car. If it's been any accidents, if it's salvage, title. And if I would have did that beforehand, I probably could have got an extra thousand dollars off the car. You feel me? But yeah, man, get the, it, it might cost forty dollars, man. But if you when you locked in and you about to spend that money, pay that forty. I'm, I promise you, man. Cause I, I, I that, that's what it's there for. But other than that, man, you know I've been chilling. I wanna um, <clears throat> I'm gonna start coming out here and um. Do what everybody else be doing. Telling stories, hell. Stories of my life. I got me. I got a million stories. You feed me. I just, I done, I done, I, done, I, done, I ain't seen and done everything, but I done seen a lot and done a lot. God damn it! I think I'm gonna come and rap with y'all about some stories, man. Until I get these bills all the way together with these cars, I'm still saving money, still paying rent. Christmas time. I'm not rich, but I'm working. Get me, I'm trying. You feel me, saying? So we gonna get there, you know. Um, I've got, like I said, I got the ball bearings on the way. Um, I probably really, I want to get the uh, headers and stuff for this, on this car, the exhaust, man. I mean, the air, cold air intakes and all that. But I probably wait until after, until I put, I probably wait till like February to do all that. 
just keep this car stocked until February, cause that's when I'm gonna buy my car, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do both of them at the same time. Well, not completely at the same time, but you feel what I'm saying? I get we get taxes back and stuff, and I be able to I be able to, it'll make more sense. I can be able to do stuff without losing. I'll be able to do a lot of stuff without 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 taking an L. UV. Well, uh, yeah, man. That's what I plan on doing. That's what's taking me so long. It's more or less about uh, being patient. You know what I'm saying? When you be patient, you reap a, reap a benefit at the end. And I'm trying to reap. It's winter time. I can't do. I know what I'm saying I can't do nothing anyway. Put some speakers in here and shit like that. But I can. All that's going. I'm like I said. I'm gonna do all that about February. I do plan on getting another G37, a coupe. But as far as this car, this car with the salvage title, uh, yeah, it's all good, man. I can't, like I said, I can't get this thing registered full coverage nine, uh, two thousand nine. I believe that that's uh that year is over with. Cause I remember I got my two thousand eight, I couldn't do it, and it's a year ago, and I'm a year went past. So I'm pretty sure it's the year 2009 that can't get full coverage. So all that, I got a rebuild title. I got a salvage title. Motherfucker, get that, get that car fax. If that shit say it's good, it's good. I don't give a fuck what that shit, what that title shit say. Like this shit got a salvage title. This motherfucker running like a motherfucker. I took to the mechanic. He was surprised. He was like, these shit is expensive. He's like, he can't find nothing, uh, he said he trying to find a junk one. He said he can't find nothing less than 3000 junk. So that goes to show. I caught a deal. I'm blessed. And we all are blessed. Cause I, I see a lot of people getting deal. I done dropped the phone, y'all. But yeah, I ain't, ain't um, try to stay pH balanced. Get me. But anyway, it is what it is, man. I ain't fucking pooping at none of that shit. I'm going um, to take my time one step at a time. Stack my money like I'm supposed to. Like my boy uh Crip Max say, stack them increments. Get me. We're gonna do that, man. Steady and ready, man. But uh I just wanna come in and give y'all heads up, let y'all know I'm still kicking out this motherfucker, man. I ain't giving up on shit. I'm outside. Still. You know what I'm saying? Check me out, man. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna pop out one day with these joints. This shit's gonna be ready. Oh, one more thing. I, I do. Be, 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 this gonna be, this will probably be for next year. Uh, sometime I don't know what I'm gonna do it, but I did, I did. Uh, I was thinking like I was thinking like, did I wanna put a the FB make an FBO or rebuild the engine? But I think I'm just gonna rebuild the engine first. I'm gonna really take my time on these whips on this car and my car. The sedan I might not I might not rebuild the engine. Depend on how my girl feel and how she like. You know what I'm saying? She's my, I just might uh, co-air intake, exhaust, tune, cams, pulleys, tune. You know what I'm saying? Light work. Uh, make her shit 85 so she can save on some gas and get some more horsepower. 360, 400 horsepower. That's all she going to need for real. But the big dog, boy, I need a couple maps. Get me. I need a couple maps. I'm trying to get to that 900 horsepower with my shit. But like I said, I'm going to rebuild the engine first. Try to get that shit at 500 horsepower naturally aspirated. And then uh, throw that twin turbo. Not no single turbo, not no supercharger. Twin turbo. That's what I'm looking for towards. And I'm, I'm kind of looking at that Jeep, that G-Ready joint. Fuck it. Spin the racks. But I ain't got it right now anyway. But I'm going to save. I'm saving. I'm saving that. I'm saving. I'm, I'm, this, you probably be... I probably be to spend thirty thousand a piece on both of these motherfucking cars before it's all over with. Thirty, forty. You gonna have to spend it if you want to. If you want to buy it, though, I tell you, it's a good investment, man. It's my love. But anyway, I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. Um, I'm about to go smoke this blunt. I'm about to get my mind right. Appreciate y'all for taking your time to listen to me. Man, I ain't talking about nothing. Uh, I do got some uh carbon fiber side panels coming in the mail I think it's a six piece set yeah six piece set carbon fiber side panels and if y'all do need any more I got I bought five I bought four extra 
comment in the comments, man. I got you. Fifty dollar piece. Anybody else? I'm selling it to seventy five. Fifty dollar piece for the carbon fiber side panels. I'm gonna do a video when I get them. When I get them, I do a video. And, uh, that's when I'll have them and I can be able to sell them. But carbon fiber side, I, I see a lot of G's that uh, that, that need it, man. And, uh, they like a hundred dollars anywhere else. If you want them today, the day I have them. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna highlight y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Tap in.